There are five lights, and they are out. But however, the AI are going quite slowly in front. He feels that he can make up loads of positions here, but then instead of squeezing us into Button, that's caused Button to spin, and that's held us up massively. But the thing is, really overtaking is absolutely crucial in this race, and really, we can't be doing things like that. Don't get the best exit out of that corner, and we sort of just let Nico go through. As we, there's no point holding him up, really. Again, a disappointing finish, really. I, I think we just really need to move on from this and hope for a much better race in China. It's now time for the Chinese Grand Prix. Hey guys, what is up? It is Stop Matt 1998 here, and I am here today with part four of my F1 2014 career mode series. We are at the Shanghai International Circuit today for the Chinese Grand Prix, and now we are in practice. And as you can see, we're on the green stripe tyre today, meaning that there is a bit of rain on the track. We are using the intermediate tyres actually. In fact, I think this is the first wet session we have actually had all season long. But anyway, we had to complete an R&D objective, and I think the reward for that was to increase front stability by 10%, which is kind of what we need to be honest, because obviously we have been suffering with quite a lot of understeer, and I think this time now will be good enough to beat the target time, and indeed it is, and that actually moves us up into 8th place in the session altogether. But I think we may go out for another lap now, but I don't think... As you can see there, it did dry out later on in the session, but we didn't decide to set a lap. And in fact, 8th place was actually good enough in the end. But now skipping straight on into Q1, uh, obviously going down to the hairpin. Now, I think getting out of Q1 will be quite difficult, to be honest with you. But as you can see, we set a 44.4, which is obviously not good enough for our teammate Nico Hulkenberg. Just well out in front with a 40.6. But anyway, we're going to come through now, round the final corner. And we're going to open up DRS here. And we're going to set a 143 dead which I still don't think is quite good enough, so I think we're going to have to set another time, and indeed we do. We are in the, the drop zone at the moment in 18th position. We have to beat Roman Grosjean's 42.2, so we have to improve by over 8 tenths of a second. Shifting down to first gear into that hairpin, I think the hairpin uh, will be a good opportunity for overtakes throughout the race, so we might see quite a few overtakes going down into there. But anyway, going around the final corner now, will this time be good enough to get us out of Q1 and into Q2? We set a 42 so it's just about good enough to get us into Q2 and indeed it was as we now skip into Q2 we set a 1 minute 42.8 originally but to go on another lap now because I think we'll be able to beat hopefully the two salvers ahead of us of Gutierrez and Satil as you can see Button's time there a 39.8 I just don't think we're going to be able to beat that time as we're going to come to the final corner now we're going to go around the final corner I think this time will probably be good enough to beat both salvers but not to beat Jensen Button and let's see where that puts us indeed well, in fact we beat John Eric Verne as well so even better we qualified in 13 so yeah let's just hope for a good race tomorrow um so basically the strategy for today is that um, we're going to do this, the recommended pit stop strategy. So we're sort of with the AI for the entire race. I hope we can have a good battle with them. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately the R&D part will not be here for this race. But it should be here for a, in a couple of races time uh, for the Monaco Grand Prix. But anyway guys, let's see how we can do today. And there we have it there. Nico Hulkenberg once again out qualifying us, qualifying in 8th position. But let's hope for a good start here, unlike the last race in Bahrain, as the five lights are illuminated above us now for the Chinese Grand Prix. And they are out here in China. And again, I think we've gotten a pretty poor start, shifting out of second gear quite late, which I think is what, what it is costing us, to be honest. But anyway, going into turn 1, now we're going to hope to gain some positions and hopefully... Uh, it's the same as if the Toro Ross is going quite slowly, but then Magnussen breaking quite early there. Or that might have been bad. No, it was Magnussen. We're already up into 10th position. We're already into the points already. What a start from Freddy here. He's gaining positions really easily at the moment. But now we're side by side with Button, and I think we've got another car side by side with us. It is Felipe Massa, but I think we're going to defend the position from him and possibly gain a few others going into this hairpin now. 
In fact, we do break early quite cautious. We don't want to cause any collisions. We don't want to get a bad reputation. But anyway, we are up into P7 now already. And we're just going to aim to maintain this pace sort of manage the tyres. It's obviously China is quite a bad uh, track for tyre wear. But on this game, I don't think it's so bad anymore. But anyway, onto the straight now. Alonso sort of pulled away from us. I think what we've got to do now is just try and maintain this position, as I said. So now we've got Felipe Mas behind us. He's going to be determined uh, to um, pass us here. Obviously, he doesn't have the DRS just yet, but he is going to go on the inside here, going into the hairpin, but no, he doesn't go for it. But However, we do break a little bit late. We don't go down into first gear, so we do run wide as a result, but I don't think Massa was fast enough to react there. So for now, we do remain in seventh position, so let's hope we can maintain this obviously to the end of the race and we obviously will be pitting on the same lap as the AI so really as I said we just got to maintain this pace but look at look again Massa is gaining on us once more and he might have the move move here and so will Button who's going for a very ambitious move there sort of actually hit us there but then we changed our lines and overtook Massa once again and I think this will be as I said earlier the hairpin will be a great place for overtaking there'll be some good battling down that back straight so I think Massa might actually have a run on us out of the final corner here as we didn't get the best exit in the world. And Massa is indeed going to the outside. And Massa, will he go for it? Yes, he will, but we make contact with him, Freddy. I suppose it wasn't really his fault as Massa did kind of turn into him there. And I think we have just about defended the position uh, for now at least. So, yeah, we've had some good battles so far, and let's just hope that the battles can remain because I think what we've been lacking in the past few races is just a real proper battle. And as you can see, though, we've actually jumped up ahead of our teammate Nico Hulkenberg, who's about seven positions back, I think, if my math is correct. But, um, yeah, anyway, I think we've got Massa behind us once again, and indeed, again, the McLaren of Jensen Button, who's going to go and pass both of us here. It's three abreast down this back straight, but then we try and pass both of them here, and indeed it was Magnussen, sorry, and we do kind of break a bit late there, outbreak ourselves, and uh, Massa and Magnussen ran wide because of that, but we still maintained our positions, that's really all the mass at this moment in time, and let's just hope that they don't gain us here, but I think what we're going to do now is pit a lap earlier so we get an undercut on the AI. Uh, to ho in the hope that we sort of stay ahead of them because I feel if we stay out another lap and we're put on the same lap as them we'll get held up in the pits as we're sort of towards the end of the pit lane so obviously that did happen in Bahrain we got held up a little bit but I think now pitting at the now will be obviously the right decision so putting on the prime tyres in it is a 3.7 second stop really just the norm uh, for this game but I think we're going to rejoin behind Ericsson, who I don't think has pitted yet, but I believe the two cars behind me, Chilton and Kobayashi, have pitted. So we've got to make sure we have a good outlap here if we want to stay ahead of the cars we're battling with, like Felipe Massa and like Jensen Button. As you can see there, Ericsson is going into the pits along with a load of other cars, including my teammate Nico Hulkenberg. And I think we're going to rejoin ahead of Massa and Button. And that in itself shows that the undercut has worked. So now what we've got to work on is rejoining ahead of Bottas and Magnussen as we've now got Jensen Button all over the back of us. He's going to have the DRS here and he's going to try and overtake down into the hairpin. And I think we're going to change our lines once again. We're going to switch to the inside. I think we're going to defend the position once again. We're making contact with his rear tyre there. But I think this battling is sort of losing his time to Bottas and Magnussen who I don't think were in any traffic whatsoever. So I think actually rejoining ahead of Bottas and Magnussen is kind of unlikely but as you can see we're going to overtake even more cars here including Maldonado who is in the pit as well as obviously Bottas and Magnussen but I think guys we've rejoined in ninth position we were in seventh before so I believe that is Bottas and Magnussen the two cars ahead of us on the track there as Button once again goes for another move looking very feisty in this race Jensen Button and he just seemed quite, quite feisty on this game to be honest which he really isn't in real life in all honesty, but um, then again, Button going for another move at the hairpin as we've got Massa and Hulkenberg behind us once again. But once again, we do defend from Jensen Button. But in the process, we do have a run a little bit wide as we do outbreak ourselves. And I think we've got Button here who might maintain it around the outside. But I think we're going to um, actually cut the corner there a little bit. But I think we're going to keep the position to Button as we do have the DRS. And Massa might even have a go on the McLaren driver. Will Massa have a go? I think he will be. He might also have a go on us as well. He is looking very feisty in this race. And look at that. He almost made contact with us there. Uh, I sort of had to close the door on him, which I did, which Freddie did. But now we've got Hulkenberg all over the back of us now. It is Nico Hulkenberg who's managed to make his way past Massa and Button. So there is Hulkenberg, who's actually squeezing us out wide there, making us break on the curb, which caused us to lock up slightly. But then the thing is, we do get pretty good traction out of this fight 
out of this um, penultimate corner here. And I think we're going to gain the position at the expense of Hulkenberg. But they do outbreak ourselves, causing Hulkenberg and myself and Freddy not to have the greatest of exits. But then Massa, once again, takes the position. Now he's going to have a go on Freddy once again. I think Freddy has done very, very well in this race to defend from Massa. Guys like Massa, because really this race has just been all about defending not very much overtaking, really just defending and then overtaking again. That is literally all this race has been. As you can see now, more cars joining the battle. So this has been a fantastic battle. Probably one of the most exciting races we've actually had this season. As Massa once again going down the inside and we actually make contact once again. There's been a lot of good battling in this race, but unfortunately a lot of contact. Which is kind of unnecessary, but it hasn't really resulted in anything too much. So that's alright. Obviously, there is always quite a bit of contact in some great battles. But now, Massa and Hulkenberg, once again, are they going to make the move stick this time? They don't seem to be able to have really have the bravery or the confidence to make the move stick. But this time, I'm doing something a little bit different. Freddy's defending on the outside here, or sorry, on the inside. And we're going to make the Massa go to the outside. But I don't think that's going to work as we're... Freddy sort of cut Massa off there. Which might give Hulkenberg a chance. I think what we're gonna actually going to try and do... I think what Freddy's going to try and do is try to hold, hold up Massa which hopefully will allow Hulkenberg through into 10th position, which means a double points finish. If you skip onto the penultimate lap now, Hulkenberg has actually, has actually dropped behind Button, so I don't think that is going to happen now, unfortunately. But anyway, we've got Massa, who's going to go down the inside once again. We're breaking it basically the same position, and we do maintain the position once again. If we do make contact once again with Massa, and actually I think that was Hulkenberg just behind there, who'd actually made his way past uh, Gents and Buttons, let's hope that Hulkenberg can get past Massa on this final lap here. And actually, skipping on to the final lap onto the straight, the AI were nowhere near me. Uh, Massa was nowhere near Freddy, and Freddy, for once, had a calm uh, final lap on this DRS straight. So it looks like we're going to come home for our first points of the season. I mean, Freddy really didn't expect this. I mean, this has obviously been a complete contrast to Byron, as that is Nika Hulkenberg making his way up into 10th position. Fantastic stuff there, and it's going to be a double points finish for Force India. And we're going to come through the final corner now for our first point of the season. So a fantastic double points finish for Force India, as it was Nico Rosberg who took out the win. And obviously we frustrated Massa and Button, who obviously uh, had to settle for 11th and 12th positions. But yeah, as you can see now in the championship standings, I've moved up into 12th ahead of Daniel Kvyat, and Nico is still in 6th position. So... Um, in the constructors, I believe we're sort of battling Williams and McLaren. I think we're going to see the constructors in a second, as you can see there, sitting in fifth position in between Williams and McLaren. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.